Hey folks, Ray from DCAmerica.com here. One of the biggest questions about the new Hero 7 Black is whether or not the audio still sucks. And by sucks, I mean really, really sucks. Like one of the problems with the Hero 5 and the Hero 6 is that if you did anything at all with the case, like if you even breathed on it the wrong way, you get this really weird distorted tunneling effect. And, and if you've watched YouTube videos, you know exactly what I'm talking about, or any sort of GoPro video, sorry, you know exactly what I'm talking about. Um, and I was curious, is it still happening on the Hero 7 Black? So over last week, I've been trying all sorts of things to see if I can make that same effect. And the reason I'm curious is because GoPro says they fixed it. GoPro says they've gone ahead and they put a different membrane on top of the microphones which goes ahead and addresses the entire thing. Um, why they did that a couple years ago, don't know, but at least it's here now. So I'm going to go through a couple tests, kind of step it up each notch. Uh, right now you're actually listening to the audio from the Hero 7 Black. So I'm kind of moving it around. It should be in theory switching between the different microphones on it. Uh, so I haven't really interacted with it all. Uh, but now if I go ahead and just kind of brush the case like this, give it a nice gentle massage, um, which is something that might actually happen if you're skiing, you hit a you know code or whatever it is. Like there's lots of ways that you can go ahead and hit the case itself. Um, even if you're just trying to handhold a unit like this out there, hold it like that, and kind of talk to it. Um, how does that sound? You know, in the past this would be a problem. I, I've done, I've shot a lot of videos where just doing this would crap itself. Um, so let's go ahead and take it out of the case here. And sorry if there's like a loud click or something as I go ahead and take this out of the case, but you're listening to the actual audio. I'm trying to be careful not to stop recording. Um, so now I'm going to hold it up like this. Same thing. This is a very common thing to hold it like this and just simply talk to it. Um, you know, point it at something like this, point it at you. We shouldn't be hearing anything. My fingers are definitely touching the different microphone points right there. Um, so like I can rub across it. I'm sorry if that sounds hideous or not, but that's normal. That's things you would do. Like if you were holding a camera and, and trying to do something cool action wise, you're not going to worry about whether or not you're holding on top of the microphones. No one cares. So at this point, I think we've done a good job of holding it here in a very still environment and, and all that kind of stuff. It's fine. Let's kick it up a notch. Okay, here we are in a bit of wind right now. Uh, so they're both in the standard cases and they're both on shorty sticks. Uh, and I've got the wind coming from my back, so I'm obviously in front of you. Uh, I'll let you go ahead and listen to the audio. We'll start off with the Hero 6. Uh, so now you're listening to the Hero 6 audio as the wind kind of cruises through here. It's kind of gusting up and down a little bit, uh, but maybe we've got to hear some of that kind of case echoey noise that you hear every once in a while. Now we'll switch over to the Hero 7 audio. Uh, the same thing, so go ahead and uh, the wind's kind of just gusting in and out, but it's about the same uh, the same wind speed for both of these right now. Uh, so you hope you can hear that. Okay, so it's pretty windy right here. My guess is gusting at about 20, 25 miles an hour, so it's cruising through. I've got both cameras in their respective uh, standard cases, and I'm just both on the shorty stick holding in front of me <coughs> using auto microphones. I'm just gonna go ahead and on the bottom, you can see which microphone I'm talking on. Uh, now the wind is definitely picking up a little bit, uh, so you can go and just kind of watch the microphones at the bottom and see how it sounds on both of them. Uh, yeah, I'm guessing like closer to 30, maybe 35 miles an hour winds. Pretty strong, but you know, if you think about GoPros or 4, it's usually go like in some sort of fast action scenario, potentially in the wind. So, <coughs> this is exactly what you'd be hearing. So let's kick it up a notch a little bit. Um, now I'm gonna show you some mountain biking footage. Now in this particular case, I wasn't actually talking to the camera, I was just riding along talking to my friend. Um, so you have to listen to the audio. We're definitely over a bunch of bumps. Some of the rattling you're hearing is just of course the mountain bike itself. It's, it's a really rough uh, path there, and so of course you're gonna hear some sound from that. Go ahead and listen to this for a second. Oh, this is pretty up here, I'll give him credit for that. Oh, yeah. oh this is a hill. <laughs> we can test this stuff going up on the hill. I call down. <laughs> oh, yeah. Yeah, go for it. Sweet. Keep going a little bit. And then in a second, we'll switch over to the other rear camera. Okay. I was trying to get to the... Uh... <laughs> The yeah, glide part, the goal. Next, let's go ahead and try running with it. Um, so here's this little segment I'm going to show you while I'm running. This is actually using the whole stabilized thing, by the way, as well. 4K60 stabilized. I'm using uh, the shorty stick here, which is what this is, in case you're wondering. Uh, and I'm just running with it, talking. Again, this is something that has been problematic for me in the past. It is a bit windy when I'm doing this on top of that, so something to keep in mind. So here we go. I've been running. I just dropped my phone back there. That's unfortunate. We're going to go back up the hill now. See a little bit of a difference in the, uh, being in the sun versus the shade. For my face, that is.
Okay, you didn't think I was gonna forget about water, did you? Of course not. So, here's some water. Simple as that. I'm gonna go take the camera and I'll pop it down in the water. I'm gonna shake around a bunch. I'm gonna pop it in again, shake around even more, uh, just to kind of mix things up, make sure the holes get all nice and full of water. Then I'm gonna take it out and talk to you. Um, and what I've seen in the past is generally there's a couple seconds where it takes for the, the microphones to basically drain of water. Um, and then once that happens, the audio kicks in and it's, it's nice and clean. So we'll see if that's the case here as well. Here we go. on the video to how long it takes for my audio to come in nice and clear. I'm not shaking the camera. I didn't shake the camera coming out of the water. Just simply holding it nice and still here. And you can see how long it'll take for the microphones to sort of clear themselves uh, and go ahead and allow you to hear me clearly. So hopefully by now it's nice and clear. Okay, so here at the airport, we're sort of finishing things up, looking at the footage from the files itself. If you're hearing lots of noise, it's because there's airplanes there. Um, so, but hey, it's, it's, it's a GoPro. It's a noise test. It's the whole point of this entire video is noise. Uh, so, you know, looking back at all the footage, it's kind of funny. In some ways, the area that did the least well was actually just holding it in my hands. And of course, I was kind of like bouncing it back and forth between my hands, so that is a lot tougher. And that snare is going to have to go ahead and figure out which microphone to use. And so when I cover two or the three microphones, that's not going to do so well for it. Um, whereas like the water test, it did really, really well. It basically pulled out the water a couple seconds later, it was good to go. Uh, and while cycling as well, you know, on different gravel and stuff like that, no problem. That was really, really strong. Uh, running was also really, really good. I know it's a bit shorter of a clip there. That's all I had um, when I went back to my files there. Uh, but, you know, overall, it's, it was good. You know, I think sometimes people compare the GoPro mics with, like, wired mics or microphones that are on cameras that don't have waterproofing. And that's a bit of a challenge because the fact that it is the waterproofing that makes it so appealing for so many people. Uh, certainly, there will always be a subset of people that don't want a waterproof GoPro and want the, the better audio quality that. But I think the majority of the market does tend to want a waterproof GoPro that you don't have to have another case for. Uh, so in that sense, the Hero 7 is definitely a lot better than the Hero 5 or 6 from a pure audio standpoint. Is it worth an upgrade by itself? Yeah, well, not bad. Um, I would say it depends on looking at the other features out there and kind of seeing are there other things that you want, whether it be like the time warp or all that kind of stuff. Anyways, all that stuff's up in that video up there I have with all like the 16 things and stuff like that. Tons of detail about that. But overall, I'd say it's good. Like for me, I'll definitely upgrade to the Hero 7. Uh, is my daily driver for videos and stuff like that when you need to shoot them. I think that's that's worth it for me personally, but you may be different. Anyways, if you found this interesting, like that like button at the bottom there or the subscribe button. I appreciate it. Have a good one.